Hey, what's up? It's your girl, Miss Jackson. Um, I want to talk to you guys today about something that is near and dear to me, and that is headphones, specifically headphones for riding. Now, this here is one of the many helmets that I have, and I promise, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to do a video, and I'm going to talk about helmets and the ones that I like. Um, but today, this particular video is going to talk about headphones. Okay, now before I go any further and before I forget, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video if you found it entertaining and if you found it useful. Let's get right into it. I'm going to show you a couple of headphones. Some of these headphones, a lot of you people have and you've seen, and you're probably wondering, hmm, I wonder if these headphones are going to work for me if I'm riding my motorbike. Well, Miss Jackson is going to answer that question for you. Okay, so first of all, let me comment and let you know this right away. These headphones that I'm going to show you, right off the bat, if you're going to be using a full face helmet, you're not going to be able to use any of these headphones that I'm about to show you. However, if you're like me and you have different variety of helmets, um, sometimes I like to wear the half one like this. So on a helmet like this, you can wear earbuds. Not all because some of them do stick out, but I am going to show you which earbuds you can use and that you can wear with a helmet like this, a half helmet, without any issue whatsoever. Meaning it won't fall out your ears, you know, you'll still get good sound and you have a comfortable ride. So the first one I'm gonna show you is, this is the Bose Sound Sport. Now, these bad boys are gonna run you probably 70 or $80 at Best Buy. But let me tell you something, this is waterproof, sweatproof, Miss Jackson tested and approved. You pop these bad boys in and I'm gonna show you guys exactly. So now you see how they stick out a little? Definitely you would not be able to put these on and then put this on. It's just not gonna happen, all right? But if you put these in and you pop these on, you see? You have no issues here and you can securely strap this in, right? So right then and there, if you're gonna be listening only to music and you don't wanna to talk to anybody, even though it has a, a mouthpiece, let me tell you right now, if you're going 70, 60, 80, 90 miles an hour for some of you speed demons, you're not going to be able to talk to anybody on this, but you're gonna hear your music loud and clear and you're not gonna have any interruptions whatsoever so therefore this is going to be perfect it's a bose so you know the quality is good all right so like i said this one very comfortable what i love about it it's got the wing tip once you put this bad boy in okay you see it doesn't go anywhere this is what i love about it so even if you're running it's great you put these on and you're on the motorbike and you're going 60 70 80 miles an hour these are not going anywhere so miss jackson gives this bad boy right here easily four out of five if you are going to be using it with one of these bad boys now let me show you guys another one everybody probably have one of these this is the samsung galaxy buds pro i just picked these up recently and um the box is so cute kind of just looks like an engagement ring box i do so these headphones by themselves if you were to just pop them in on a regular day, I gotta tell you, sound quality on these, much, much, much better than my um, Apple AirPods Pro. But we're gonna get to that in a minute. So now, now, what I love about these is that they have active noise canceling, which means that the sound really gets concentrated and you can really hear your music really, really well. So you know, if you're walking, you know, um, they don't have wingtips. Let me point that out. So you need to be very careful when you put these in because they do not have wingtips, unlike the Bose. But the sound quality is good. So if you were to take your half helmet 
and put it over your head just the same way like I showed you with the other one it's pretty much secure it has no wingtips but it goes into your ears very securely your helmet is on perfectly obviously I didn't buckle this all the way so I'm just showing you guys how it would look all the way if I were to tighten it all the way and I shake my head it's not moving okay now you can talk but sound quality honestly not really gonna be the best you're gonna hear a lot of static and wind however your music top-notch so that's what you're gonna get if you're using the Samsung Galaxy Buds Pro okay all right okay so now we are going to move on to the Apple AirPods Pro now I know that there are a lot of people out there that are really big fans of Apple products so am I um, however um, when it comes to sound quality for me when it comes to writing uh, so far these bad boys beat the pros now one of the main issues that I have with these if you'll notice that this is black and not white because the original um, air tips they are so slippery that when you put these thing in they automatically fall out now you don't want to have a near $300 product falling out of your ear when you're riding so I found a company online that sells replacement foam tips for the AirPods Pro and so far if I'm being honest they do stay in to be honest with you they do stay in um, they're kind of very secure but I'm gonna be honest with you I've put them in and even though they're very secure um, the quality and you can see that it's very safe on your ear the quality the sound quality that I get from these Samsung Airbuds Pro absolutely for me beat the Apple AirPods Pro hands down easy even when I'm not riding even when I'm not, I was I was really impressed because I really didn't expect that such a great quality from the Samsung Airbuds but they were really top-notch and these Apple AirPods Pro I'm not a fan of the tips because like I said I had to buy black tips because the original ones this kept falling out of my ear and this is almost a $300 investment you do not want to lose it they don't have wing tips actually I purchased third-party wing tips for these but they kind of hurt my ear after a while when I had it on with the helmet so to be quite honest with you I don't really use these I'm just gonna be honest um the yeah so the apple airpods pro um they look cool um but they are really not very practical for just everyday walking around if you're not using these custom tips and they're definitely not that good if you're gonna be riding with them with the helmet you could end up losing them um so i'm hoping that when you know when, if apple were to continue to improve upon the product I'm hoping they'll probably add wing tips like with the bows you know or do something about the air tips because they really are slippery and um, I've spoken to some people in the Apple store um, and they you know they've said yes you know people do end up losing them because they fall out of the ear and they you know they they're aware of the issue so I want to urge you if you are going to use one of these be very careful and I would say don't even attempt to use it if you're gonna be riding even with a, a, a half a helmet because you could you could potentially lose it okay all right now I'm getting down to the nitty-gritty I have two more products to show this one is a regular Sony earbud this bad boy is around $20 at Best Buy or Target. And let me tell you something. These fit in your ear really, really well. Really, really well. Um, 
they don't have noise cancellation but and obviously so it has a microphone button so you can talk but when you're riding obviously because there's going to be wind and there's not any noise cancellation on this you're the person on the other end is going to hear a lot of wind you will be able to hear them really fine and you're going to hear your music pumping but it's not going to be good for talking but for listening to music absolutely you want to get you one of these twenty dollars they fit perfectly in they fit right over the helmet trust me no issues with that so this sony um it's 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 really good like this one is the mdr dash ex 15 ap like i said you can get this at target or best buy or even walmart and it's not gonna cost you more than twenty dollars and trust me whether or not you're riding <laughs> these headphones are pretty darn good okay but it's a sony and let me tell you something really good quality so this one for riding yes i give this one a three out of five Okay, so now the moment you have all been waiting for. You want to know what is the number one most rated headphone for riding your motorbike. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let me introduce you to your new best friend. This bad boy right here is the Sony WF-SB800N. Now, this little thing of beauty is a beast. When I say it's a beast, I mean it's a beast. Um, this, first of all, is going to set you back around $200, right? Um, but let me tell you something. This does it all. And when I say it does it all, it does it all. These are my go-to headphones for pretty much anything that has to do with my motorbike when it comes to riding and i'll show you why see the small compact design see this wing tip so sony has managed to do what bose has been doing great for years wing tips your best friend when it comes to riding wing tips are your best friend you pop these bad boys in they don't go anywhere Now look, you have these in, these headphones are amazing. These earbuds are amazing. They don't go nowhere. You don't, no matter what you do, it's not gonna fall out. Now, they're also noise canceling, like real noise canceling, not active noise canceling like this or this, like proper noise canceling, okay? You put these in, you don't hear nothing except what is in your ear, okay? You could probably hear your ancestors, like for real. This thing is the legit truth. You talk about bass, it's right here, okay? Now, watch this. These headphones, let me, I'm gonna show you guys something. So you pop these on, right? And what I love about these headphones more than the other headphones, even though I love the rest of them. These headphones, when you put them on, it's like you don't even feel it. The others, you kind of feel and you know that they're there. These Sonys, absolutely nothing. These Sonys are 100% the truth. Let me tell you that. And I did a test on these headphones. So in a closed environment, I wanted to see how good these headphones were gonna hold up because they are they're water resistant, they're rugged, they're built for working out, they're built for sweating. So I decided that I think it could take some battering. So I got on the motorbike, I didn't have on the helmet at all. I was padded up and I just went as fast as I could for about a minute. And let me tell you something, they didn't move, period. I was shocked because I thought they would, I thought I would lose them. These things withstood the wind and the speed like it wasn't even there. So when I tell you that these are the best headphones that you can get for your money, if you're gonna be riding with a helmet and you want music and you want noise isolation, this is it right here. You look no further than this. And I'm also gonna tell you something very great about these. 
this charging case might be bigger than the Samsung. Yes, it's definitely bigger than the Apple AirPods Pro. But these bad boys, they charge up so quickly. So you basically, like I've tested this and I have two of these, just so you know. Um, I would go from like zero to about 50% in about 15 minutes on these. And I literally can go about four days playing my music on full blast before I need to charge this up. This is how good these headphones are. So again, if I have to recommend a AirPod for helmet riding, comfort, for style, it would be this. It would be the Sony with the ridiculous name WFSP800N. If you can get these online cheaper, go ahead because they are gonna set you back around $200 at Best Buy as of November 2021. That's how much it's gonna set you back. When I purchased them, I paid a little bit more, um, but hands down between all of these headphones, I'm sorry, Sony, the Sony takes the trophy. So there you have it. So Sony is the number one, highly recommended earbuds for riding with a half helmet, five out of five. Yeah, if you get these and you put them in and you ride, I would love for you to comment and let me know how much you enjoy. A close one is the Bose Sound Sport, but again, because they kind of stick out a little bit too much and the battery life is really not the greatest on these. That's one issue that I have with Bose. Battery life is really not the best. Great quality, not that great on battery life. Um, the Samsung Galaxy Buds Pro, you can get these right now at Best Buy as of today, which is November 2021. You get these for about $169, they're on sale. Well worth it, well worth it. And then I have the $20 ones from Sony, um, very good as well. You know, it's got a cord. This one is not wireless, but really good sound quality. And in last place, I'm sorry, but it's just been my experience, is the Apple AirPods Pro. Just doesn't really, I don't trust it. Did not fall out of my ear for the money that I've paid for it. So it basically doesn't go any further than the house. So there you have it. I have shown you guys five earbuds out of my extensive collection of headphones that I have. And I've shown you my personal choice for bike wearing or helmet wearing, I should say. So um, again, if you guys have any, um, headphones that you found please drop me a line let me know i just go ahead and get one and try it out because i don't mind adding to my collection <laughs> until then this is your girl miss jackson saying peace out thank you for watching